welcome back to Civ 5 with me and Ed against Hello. the AI. Um, it's been about a month since we played this. <laughs> yeah, so you might have to bear <laughs> with us. Uh, I have been watching the videos week on week, so... I have not. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I have a fairly I don't know idea. what's going on. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to try and jump back into this and hopefully it'll be alright. Okay, let's uh, uh, check my diplomacy and make, make sure I'm not at war with the Zulus. I am not. Right, so I'm, I'm guessing... At this Well, Matt at this point has completely cleared his island, so hopefully he's going to start sending me some troops so I can clear yeah. my island. Guess what the plan is for me? Where are the Zulus? They're on this bottom section. So yeah, they're south. So hopefully, they'll be. Hmm, we might need I to. I think get... they only have about three cities, judging by how much is left underneath them and the fact that their capital is. I can see their capital, and it's pretty much right in the middle of the black. Good. We've almost got astronomy, so I'm going to stack on you for that so we can get this done. Uh, oh, yeah. I've still got more horsemen, so I get to just stack up some more Keshiks. Um, I don't know the fucking National College, what the hell am I doing? I noticed that when I was watching the video back, it's like, why am I not building the National College? I think I was just waiting to build it in my capital, because I'd get the maximum size. But the thing is, I've just been building Keshek's end of the capital. <laughs> so uh, really just to let that. viewers know, I'm currently three quarters of the way through a London Bride, which is um, reasonably strong. <laughs> Oh gosh, I had to teach my dad how to use Skype again today. <laughs> he was like, but I want to call back the people that I just called. And I was like, well, did you make a group? And he's like, what's a group? Because um... he, he's, he's got one of the Lenovo Yoga computers. He keeps switching from using the trackpad to the touchscreen, which really gets on my nerve because he doesn't just pick one. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm attacking these um barbarians because they uh, stole my workers. Am I at war with anyone? No. Matt, of course you're not at war with anyone. <laughs> Uh, this is burning to the ground, that's good. Let's get these guys over to the coast. Ready for embarkation. This guy needs to heal, that's fine. These boats need to heal. Uh, let's get rid of this fucking road. Need a road here. Uh, fuck! So much shit to do. Uh, let's get mine. Another fucking Keshuk. I don't think we have any. Okay, we don't have any more encampments. Oh no, there's one here. Fuck! Just as I said then. That happened with me watching the BMXing on the um on the Olympics. I was like, at least no one's fallen this run, and then as soon as I say that, someone falls off their bike. Yeah, I was watching that as well. Like, literally every heat, people were falling. Crazy. I've fallen and I can't get up. There was that really unfortunate British guy who uh, fell off oh, yeah, the he first got heat, wrecked. and then he got injured, so he couldn't continue. That was sad. Imagine go training for four years, and you get injured in your first heat and you can't compete anymore. And you get a concussion in your first heat because of someone else as well. Yeah. <sighs> kind of a dick move by the other guy. Anyway, back to the game. Fuck, I don't know what to do with here. This, so... this first turn has taken me so fucking long. Oh wait, no, this is the second turn. 
Actually, I feel like having Matt record these videos and me being able to watch them means I can finally work out why Matt takes so damn long on his turns. <laughs> I do have like a ridiculous amount of units at the moment, which is hindering progress somewhat. Really do some boats actually. Choose research, gunpowder. Let's just kind of completely eclipse them in technology. Oh, unit needs orders. Which one? There you go. Brussels and the Mongolian now allies. Get them cultural city states fam. Why is this guy going by water? Whatever. Oh, I can't. Fuck. I can't. Fuck. <laughs> Leave that road. Next. Oh god, the queuing system is amazing. I love the queuing system in this game. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're just spamming out units. It's just like, I'll just click this button like six times and then forget about it. <laughs> it's like, oh, a new unit. Rock of Gibraltar. Okay, I'll probably make my landing about here. Oh, I have a Gallias exploring the coasts. I remember now. <laughs> so it appears the Zulu do have more than one city. More, more than two cities. The Great Wall of China is extended to this big <laughs> section of unowned land. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you have stuff built out there, so... You've got like a number mill and stuff out there, so I would understand that... Yeah. Ooh, Matt. Spreading your religion? You lose. <laughs> Nothing can way. stop Protestant Protestantism. 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 <laughs> you from mispronouncing it constantly. <laughs> uh, Uh, can I upgrade these? Yes, I can. Thank God. Go to logistics one. I don't want to place this. Okay. This guy definitely needs to be with the army. Today, yeah, I have buildings everywhere.
the fool, that's good. Ooh, hey. Taking long, are we? <laughs> <laughs> So um, in my um, most recent messing around in Fallout, I've decided to um, unlock the mysterious stranger perk as soon as I can. Oh, yeah. He's so useful. <laughs> well, that doesn't doesn't that only work in vats though? Yeah, I only use I use vats. I fucking like never use vats, mostly because like I have like no action points. As soon as I got to Diamond City, it was being attacked by um, super mutants. Yeah. And one of the mutants had a um, a tactical, uh, yeah, like a tactical pipe rifle that had the reflex sight, long barrel, long stock, long magazine, and a and a long bayonet. It's <laughs> like, yes, this is mine. There is one problem though. It's a pipe rifle. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking pipe rifle. God, like, I've got like. All the best guns in the game, pretty much. In 38 calibers. Nice and easy to find. Not to mention, um, I managed to get a legendary combat shotgun with the explosive um, <laughs> thing. But which the explosive one is really good because you get plus 15 percent, uh, plus 15 explosive damage on your rounds. But um, it seems to be a bit of a um, kind of I'm not really sure if it's a bug, but essentially, instead of per shot, like it is for all the other weapons, for the shotgun, it's per pellet. So each pellet has plus 15 <laughs> explosive damage. It's so unbelievably OP. Like, it can one-shot death claws. It's ridiculous. <sighs> like, my guns are so ridiculous on the game. Like, I play it on very hard difficulty. It's still pretty fucking easy. I mean, I've seen video of someone who got... A fat man with the MRV launcher and the modification that doubles the shots you fire. Oh yeah. So it's firing 16 mini nukes every time you pull the trigger. <laughs> what? Oh, the French have declared war on me. Uh -huh. uh, you've let Troy completely undefended it. <laughs> I thought we had a peace treaty. Peace treaties run out. Oh, they make farts start. Coast. Mad, where's my backup? Ooh. Get the Zulu fam. You're meant to be dealing with the French. Dealing with the French? I can't really deal with. Oh no, I can probably deal with two knights, a musketeer, and a trebuchet. Oh my! <laughs> I've just seen all of your forces crossing the water! <laughs> <laughs> I wish they could go faster, they can only take, uh, go by four. Kind of annoying. Uh, what else? What else? Let's start repairing these. Oh, there's a road here as well. Oh, and a road here. Fucking hell. Stupid roads! Doesn't even lead anywhere. Ooh, policy. I think I could build the National College in the main city after all. Let's just do that. Oh, what the hell? Since when was an encampment here? Fucking hell. Oh, could I pick this out of notes? That's not good sketching. This sketching. Good. One 
Christ. There's a very nice little bit of coast which I can land all my forces on in between two Zulu mm. cities. Just have to hope they don't have too many empty. I mean, they have one right underneath Tro right underneath Twa right now. Oh, Great Barrier Reef, right there. How did you not discover that? That's like literally right on your border. <laughs> well, yeah, but a border of a city that I only recently just took. Not really my city. Sending you loads of luxuries. How's your happiness? Plus six. Take the hill. Ah, yes, my forces are now starting to land. It's like D Day, but with the Mongols attacking the Zulus. <laughs> I don't remember this happening. <laughs> the Mongols crossing the ocean. To get to the Zulu. <laughs> I met Manila. Oh, I met Manila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending units from the other side as well, from Turfan. Don't worry, Matt. I fought off this first bush. It's by siege. It's by siege equipment. At tro oh, I can't afford a trebuchet. No. Oh no! My French musketeers. They killed one of my long swordsmen. Those pricks. Stop it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. George. Do we need more Kefix? Not really. That's so fucking many of them already. Ridiculous. Good. That's that dealt with. We're at war with Buenos Aires. No, don't go near them. We finish gunpowder next turn. Gunpowder. Yes. Yep. I'm working on industrialization. Oh yeah, get some, get some of that leak coal. Yeah, get some factories up and start getting those. Um... That dank production. Yeah, no ideologies. Mm. Autocracy ho! I mean, unless we've completely wiped out the entirety of the map before we get that far. <laughs> well, we just need industrialization. Um, yeah, no, and then we need to build three factories. Yeah, it won't take long. It won't take me very long, at least. I'm not sure about you. Shh. We don't talk about me. Zulus are first on soldiers. But they could be really bad soldiers. Well, I, some of them are, but you will have Zulus though, which is scary. Although I do have some fucking 
a lot of Keshiks with um, logistics, which are like crazy fucking OP. Uh, Ed. Hmm. Ed, your turn. Oh. <laughs> I was like, has he noticed? Or... <laughs> Don't worry. The hell? I'll send, you... I'll send a cargo ship to Attila's court and br Attila's court and bring Protestantism with it. <laughs> Can't I do anything? It's lagging. It might be resyncing. I don't know. Or it could be crashing. Who knows? I mean, I'm clicking the promote unit button. It is making the noise. I just is waiting for the players. It's waiting to roll over the turn for me. Mine doesn't. Mine's moved into the next turn. It has it. Um. Fuck. You might have to Matt, your fan is blowing on your mic. Yeah, so I'm looking at something. Um, you may have to call it there for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Now mine's frozen completely, pretty much. Um. One, I can still move mine. I can't and do it. click on units and stuff. Um. So, yeah, I think we'll have to end it there, unfortunately. It might be a bit of a short one. Um, although we will be back next week to hopefully conclude this. Maybe one or two more. Don't know. Depends how much the Zulus have. Anyway, thank you for watching that one. Thank you for watching that one, ladies and gentlemen. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. It's say goodbye, for fuck's sake. Bye. <laughs> I saved the game. Um, okay, control it, delete work. Just about. Did it still respond?